What did you gain from this experience? So what I gained from this experience, I think it was really interesting how we would talk to so many people and everyone was so willing to share their stories with us. And these were people we didn't even know. A few people um, we had mutual friends with and some people were just people who just chose to fill out our form. And, and each and every one of these people, they were willing to tell their stories to us and just um, be really open and share everything with us. So that I really appreciated. I think about it in two ways. So one, seeing how much people can trust a project. It was really touching for me to see how many people were willing to trust us with their stories, trust us with their time to like help us make this project happen and like publicize this for us. Um, and like seeing a community come together, whether it's people who are our friends, people who share the same identities as us, people who are just excited about what we do. Um, I think that was something that I, I gained from, from so many people. Um, and then on like a more, individual note. So this project came about as like a lot of conversations between me, Caitlin, and Iris. Um, and just the fact that we were able to make it happen kind of gave me some like, confidence in myself and like what we can do. So I really learned how important it was for like how someone's background can really affect what they do now and like who they've become and that there is no one right way to be Asian or like one way to do go about something correctly and it was just really insightful to see that so many people grew up in different cultures and backgrounds all in, of some sort in the Asian identity spectrum and um, to see where they've come to today and just it shows how diverse the community is. I really discovered a love for documentary filmmaking. It's not something that I ever thought I would enjoy but just meeting all of these different people and having the pleasure of getting to interview them and operate the camera for the blanket identity has been a really enriching experience. Gain the ability to collaborate with other people because this is kind of like the first project outside of like, you know, school projects that I've actually had creative people who are driven to actually tell stories and just being a part of this team and being able to see other people's stories and learn from them. It's just, it's been really cool. What is your favorite memory from this project? I think my favorite memory was the first time we went to the Center of Asian American Studies together. That was the first time we met Tony, who really helped us with our project. And I remember he brought us these little bakery items from 85. And it was just really sweet seeing how he supported us, even though we had never met him before and he decided to still like show his support for us and it was just really nice um, like having the support from the community as a whole. My favorite memories come from like all of the processes of like setting up sets and like talking to everyone. I think um, in the times when we were having like informal conversations we got really comfortable with all the people that we work with and that behind the scenes and um, in front of the camera. Um, so I think those interactions really translated to on the like comfort on camera and the videos that we created. Um, I have some really good memories of just like fun conversations with everyone. Oh, there are so many favorite memories and it's hard to pick one. Um, but I would say that one thing I remember really vividly was when we were um, adding more people to our team and we were interviewing for that and it was just so special to know that there were people wanting to help us and wanting to further our initiative and just that day when we were interviewing for a videographer and editor who we have right now doing this um, it was just so special to meet them and um, invite them to our team it was just so cool to see us grow like that my favorite memory uh, is actually interviewing for this position. I responded to a, uh, a call for a videographer on the RTF Hub, and I remember there was a question of, if a dog wore pants, uh, how would it wear him? You know, I was a little disappointed that that question never came up again, uh, because I, I really liked my answer. My answer to that question, by the way, um, I think a dog should be able to wear pants however it pleases. Um, but anyway, that interview was great. Getting to meet Caitlin, Rhea, and Iris for the first time was awesome. And uh, their passion for storytelling and representing the Asian American experience was palpable. And it still is. And I think 
that's one huge thing that makes this project so special. I want to say I have two. That's cheating a little bit in the question, but it's okay. I want to say my first favorite memory was like getting the email that I got the interview. I was just really excited because I remember um, I was actually in one of the RTF buildings to do a school project and I saw on the screen like a little advertisement. So I'm like, oh, let me just go and email and see. And just getting like the email like, hey, come and interview. I got really excited and so I was able to like tell my friends about it and they were able to like support me and I got the position. And then my second favorite memory would probably be Quinn Hong and the dogs, just being able to babysit them. So that was also cool because I like dogs as well. What do you hope other people take away from watching the Blanket Identity interviews? I think our goal at the start of this was to have people I guess to make it more obvious that the Asian American identity and the Asian American experience is a really nuanced experience. And I feel like we were able to communicate that with our videos. You could see that everyone had their own passions and no one's passions or backgrounds were the same. So I hope people really were able to glean that from our videos and to help break the whole model minority or just like the blanket stereotype of the Asian American experience. This project came about like because my friends and I were just talking about how we don't necessarily feel represented in the narrative around Asian American identities. And I think that a big part of identity in general is passion, um, but I don't see a lot of places looking at how what you care about comes from who you are like, and your background. Um, and that's something that I've always thought about, I guess, on an individual level. So I guess I hope people take away both like looking at people who are widely different than them, but also seeing themselves in the stories that we've told and maybe like a moment of personal reflection. I really hope that when people watch our videos that it helps people become more empathetic and just realize that, you know, not all Asians or people who identify as Asian or Asian American are the same and that we all have different experiences and it hopes it helps them um, better interact with people I guess in the community when they go out. I hope they like them. First of all, I think the most important thing is to entertain. Secondly, I think it's very important to expose yourself to different perspectives and the Blanket Identity has interviewed such a diverse array of people. And I think, I mean, there's not a single thing you don't gain from watching and listening and understanding other people's lives and their experiences and perspectives. I hope that other people, when they look at these videos, they can take away a different perspective and they can kind of look at people and their stories and kind of bring that same mindset into the people around their lives and become more interested in getting to know the people around them as well. What are you looking forward to after wrapping up this project? After this project, um, I'll be moving to Seattle and I think it'll be really interesting living, well firstly outside of Texas, but also going to a place with a pretty large Asian American population and I guess like also historically established Asian American population. So I'm really curious to see what the differences will be like living in a city with just that demographic. So right after completing this project, I'm going to India to see my family for like two months. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them again. Um, and I will be moving to Boston, so that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm sad that we're wrapping up, but I'm looking forward to going out and I'll be moving to Portland after graduation and I'm excited to see how at work, how I can um, continue to uh, grow like as an engineer, as a person, and also um, find ways to continue supporting the Asian American community there. After wrapping up this project, um, I'm just looking forward to getting back out there doing more documentaries. After wrapping up this project, I'm looking forward to um, kind of using the skills that I've been able to develop in this project, my editing skills, and kind of use them on other projects, such as like messing around with graphic design and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs>